so 2022 was not my best era. Not to call Riverdale, but there were many epic highs and epic lows, and I constantly focused on what I disliked about myself, and in the later part of the year, I kind of spiraled a bit. Uh -huh. But in 2023, I am determined to become a more fabulous version of myself, both on the outside and on the inside. Hello, y'all. It's a new year, and you know what they say, new year, new me. But yes, happy new year, and I'm pretty sure y'all already know what's gonna go down in this video, judging by the title. I need to reinvent myself for 2023. Like, I'm not gonna lie, 2022, it was kind of like a, it's kind of a, like a storm combined with um, acid rain. Obviously, 2023, it's a new year, and every year, I feel like during the new year, I'm extra optimistic because I'm like, it's a new, fresh start, and that's also how I feel this year. So, I sense that 2023 will be great because I will make it great. To be honest, 2023, it always seemed so far away to me. Never really seen like a real year, if that even makes sense, because 2023 is the year that I graduate and if y'all did not know, I'm a senior in high school this year, and that is when I'm graduating, and I just, I don't know. I can't really like fathom the fact that I am actually graduating this year, if that even makes sense, because I've just been doing like the same routine every day for four years. In this video, I am going to try to glow up a little and really just reinforce good habits and good practices so that I can start off the year on a good note. But I feel like a lot of glow up videos do tend to focus on physical aspects So I feel like with a lot of the glow up videos I watch, they're always changing something about their appearance and although I am going to do that in this video, obviously because I just enjoy changing my appearance, I also do want to focus on the mental and emotional aspects of glowing up and basically I'm going to split this video into two sections. <laughs> And if you watch some of my older videos where you see me in the shirt and in the bathroom, you know what's about to go down. I am going to be dyeing my hair. Also, I would like to apologize for how yellow the lighting is in the bathroom. I did have a ring light at one point, but then I broke it. Actually, no. You know what? The yellow lighting is actually a cinematic choice. I'm, I'm using color to tell a story. Yellow is a very symbolic color. Of what? Um, I can't tell you that right now. But anyways, I am going to be changing my hair again. Because you know what? Every time I'm like, I'm entering a new era, I do change my hair. So, I gotta remain consistent, I guess. Oh, also, speaking of changing my hair, I did cut it the other day. But basically, I was tired of the general shape of my hair, if that even makes sense. Because when I don't style it, I look like a Discord mod, but then when I do style it, I look like a grandma. Also, a life hack, if you want to get like layers and you don't want to buy fancy scissors, literally just get an eyebrow razor and then you just go like that, you just like scratch away at it. That is what I like to do, it's quite therapeutic. Until you realize you've cut too much and then you do panic a little, but other than that, I recommend a little razor. Now we will be dyeing hair. For the hair dye I'm using, I got this one at H Mart and it is pudding hair color. Doesn't that sound enticing? Did I buy this because I thought the packaging was a little silly and I saw a pudding on it? Yes. The shade I got is deep purple brown. I'm hoping that since my hair is already like a dark red because this is more purple, when they combine together, it'll form a really dark wine color because that's my ideal hair color. Um, so as Lana Del Rey said, we were born to dye, so I'm gonna start dyeing. All right, so inside the package are these two things. I think this has like gloves and stuff, and then this is the actual dyeing stuff. Opened up the two containers, and in the round one, we have the developer and the dye, and then we have gloves, a treatment to use afterwards, and I think this is either an apron or something to put over your head. It also came with more detailed instructions. It's in Korean, but that's okay. I would just look at the pictures. I think it's supposed to turn into like a lump when you mix together the developer and the dye. Do you see it? 
This looks like coffee. Does this sound thick enough? Oh my god, it actually became thick. <gasps> Do you see this consistency? I think I always change my hair whenever I tell myself that I am going into a new era because I feel like hair is just such a vital part of my appearance. And if I look drastically different, that means that I will become a new and improved version of myself, hopefully. I feel like I've had red hair consistently for the past two years and although I still love red, I think there have been a lot of negative memories associated with this hair color and I am ready to move on. Okay, I finished putting in all the hair dye. I'm not really sure how long I'm supposed to leave this in for, so I'm just gonna guess and say 25 to 30 minutes. Anyways, I'm gonna let this marinate on my head for a little bit and I'll wash it out and show y'all what it looks like. Hello y'all, the sun literally just set, but there's still a little bit of light. So this is what my hair looks like. I don't lie, did I leave it in for too long? Yes, I did, but that's okay. I think it will probably fade since I take violently hot showers. Kind of want to add streaks to it or something, but I think for now I will leave it alone because I don't want to do too much to my hair at once since I used to do that and my hair was really damaged for a very long time. But anyways, the hair has been transformed. Since I already dyed my hair and I'm no longer a minor, the next part of the makeover is getting more piercings! We got piercings together. Yay. I can't tell if it's like showing the ear. Do you want me to? Yes! <laughs> Here's your tour. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Wow. So many balls. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you feel? Oh my gosh. You look so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. We are once again in my bathroom, but this time I am not dyeing my hair. Instead, I will be doing my nails. So the other day, I was looking at my nails and I was like, hmm. I kind of want to get acrylics again, but the thing is, acrylics are so freaking expensive. And honestly, acrylics also just damage my nails really bad. So I think just doing press-ons is a better alternative. I'm gonna trim my nails right now so that these ones fit better. And I got my little Hello Kitty nail cutter. It's so cute. Oh my gosh! I really want to learn how to do my own nails because I really want to figure out how to do gel X. Cause I always get a lot of cool nail art videos recommended to me on TikTok and I'm like, wow, this looks very cool. I've always loved really dramatic nails. Like I love anything that has a lot of sparkle. And I also really like it when nails have fun little charms. And I think that is the type of nail art I would like to do when I figure out how to do nails. The nails came with these stick on things so i'm gonna put them on the nails and put them on my nails first nail is on okay i don't know what it is about long nails but whenever i have long nails on i just feel so powerful and pretty the one downside is i can't really function with my hands when my nails are that long but i don't mind that much i mean just look at how pretty and fabulous these nails are oh my god I will say though, if you're using press-ons, make sure to use glue and not just some adhesive because these did fall off kind of easily. All right, I am done. Can you hear? <laughs> this is what they look like. I think they're very pretty. I love how sparkly these are. Oh my goodness. Like, I just love the detail on these. I feel like a, like a cat. These are... These are actual claws, you guys. I think these are the prettiest nails I've ever had. And of course, I had to do a little close-up of these bad boys because, oh my goodness, look at those charms. Look at that sparkle. <laughs> Hello, y'all. I'm currently in 
athletic wear. And that is because I am going to go to a fitness class. One of my New Year's goals is to work out more or just exercise more in general because I'm not going to lie, I live a pretty stationary life. Like, the most movement I really get is when I walk around at school and I don't really work out all that much, which, you know, that's fine. But also, I am just really weak and I would like to build up my stamina and my strength. It's kind of embarrassing because sometimes when I walk up the stairs at school, I am just so out of breath by like the time I get to the top. But I'm going to a fitness class because I signed up for this thing called Class Pass. This is not sponsored by the way. I heard of it on TikTok and I was curious. Basically, they give you free credits when you first sign up and you can like use those credits to test out classes that you want and I still have some credits left so today we're gonna go to a boxing class okay that was my alarm to go goodbye I'll drive and see y'all there all right y'all update I just got here and I'm in the parking lot and I'm also running kind of late because the class starts at 4 30 and I got my timing wrong so I left the house at like 4 10 and I was supposed to be here at 4 15 and the drive is 15 minutes Another one of my goals this year is also to improve my timing. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go in now and I'll just like check in and set everything up. I hope I wasn't supposed to bring a mat because I did not check. And this is me after the class. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of the class itself because I don't think I was able to record. But let's just say it definitely kicked my butt and I was not able to move my limbs that well the next day. But overall, very good workout. Alrighty. I am at my desk right now and I got the journal. So I know this is not typically what like the aesthetic journaling girlies use, but for me personally, I just need a lot of space when I journal because I like to add in a lot of stuff. Let's start writing. I started journaling in November during my fall break and that was the height of my college applications. It was not the jolliest time. I really thought I was going to explode every single day, but I think journaling definitely did help me relieve my stress because it was also just a nice, fun, calm, creative activity to do after a day of suffering. Journaling overall is just a very nice coping mechanism and it has revived my love for stickers. But anyways, the purpose of this spread was for me to write down my 2023 New Year's resolutions slash goals. I always gotta make a list of New Year's goals no matter what because I like to think that it keeps me on track. I just think it's nice to have that physical reminder. Alrighty, so I just finished writing everything down and as you can tell by the change in lighting, the sun already went down because I guess that took a while. Basically, I split my goals into four different sections so we have relationships academics lifestyle and hobbies and mental health but as you can see i wrote a lot and i'm not going to read out all of them so i would just pick out maybe one thing from each section first starting with relationships my goal is that i will not be a people pleaser all the time because i do this thing where i'm like, oh yes, this is this is okay, this is fine, don't even worry about it. When I clearly do not think it's fine, but I don't want to say that it's like not fine because I don't want to offend or like make the other person upset. So I'm like, it's, it's fine. For lifestyle and hobbies, I said that I will draw consistently outside of school because I feel like I always doodle at school, like especially if the class is a little boring. But when I'm at home, I like rarely actually open up my sketchbook and just like sit down to draw something which is really weird because drawing is my favorite hobby and lastly for mental health i said that i will actually address my emotions in the present moment instead of bottling things up and then exploding this year will be my self-growth and healing period i think an important part of the healing process is surrounding yourself with people who genuinely care about you and people that you truly cherish my top love language is definitely quality time and i just think there's something so special about somebody carving out the space in their busy schedule to spend time with you Can I eat no so, are you are you glad to be having this food 
I feel like at school my social battery drains pretty quick, but whenever I hang out with my friends, I am just so glad to be there with them and I feel so happy. Guys, today my outfit makes me look like Kevin Ball from season one of Shameless. Do you agree, Christina? Yeah. 10 minutes after I had food, I had like... Are you, do you lose your appetite easily? I had intense diarrhea like 10 minutes after I drank tea. Eat it. Oh, there's so much meat! And as this video comes to an end, I just wanted to say to whoever's watching this right now, you deserve to have people in your life who make you happy. Sometimes there's people in your life who are just not worth your energy, so stop wasting your energy on them. You deserve to be happy. But I wish you the best of luck in 2023, and this is the end. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.